Hello, how are you? Hey, I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Are you ready for your 73 questions? Yes, I am, let's do it. All right, let's start off with an introduction with yourself. Hello, I'm Noelle David, and I'm a second year design major and managerial economics minor. What college is that major in? That is in the College of Letters and Science. What's the major like? The major is so much fun. There's honestly so many paths you can take and so many courses you could try, and all the professors are so willing to help you out. Awesome. How many colleges are there in UC Davis and what are they? There are four colleges, the College of Letters and Science, College of Engineering, College of Biological Sciences, and College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences. Why did you choose UC Davis? I chose UC Davis because of how chill the vibes are. And honestly, like I wanted the college experience because I'm from SoCal and I wanted to move up to NorCal. And yeah, just the whole campus is beautiful. How would you describe the school's social scene? Everyone is so friendly. I feel like you could just walk up to a person and start a random conversation. Everyone is just so chill. What about the party scene? There's a common misconception that because Davis is in the middle of nowhere, there's no parties, but parties exist. So if you want to experience party culture, it exists. What's UC Davis Safe Party and Safe Rides? UC Davis Safe Party is an organization that promotes safe partying and UC Davis Safe Rides is by the police department. They give you free rides if you're ever feeling unsafe on campus or if uh, you just came from a party. What's your favorite thing about Davis? My favorite thing would have to be the small town vibes. It's super charming and there's just a lot of hidden gems. Can you explain the quarter system? Yeah, so the quarter system is the academic schedule that Davis runs over, over and a lot of other UCs do as well. And they're basically 10 week periods, fall, winter, and spring. And it goes by pretty fast, so it's, it can be stressful, but it's also manageable. Is there a stereotype that holds true about Davis? <laughs> I feel like this is true about a lot of UCs, that there are a lot of Asians, and that's true. What about a stereotype that you found to be false? That Davis people are Berkeley rejects. Yeah, it may be true for some people, but I know a lot of people that chose Davis as their top choice. If you can pick a song that describes your Davis experience so far, what would it be? I would have to say Maroon 5's Memories. Ooh, good song. And why that? Um, because it was playing in the car as I moved into my college dorm. Huh. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst and 10 being the best, how good is the food at the dining commons? Not everyone is going to agree with me on this, but I would say a 9. What is the best thing you've eaten at the dining commons? So Latitude has amazing international food, and my favorite thing is their Tonkatsu ramen. Awesome. And what about the worst? One day they were not really doing too well in the salad bar, and they had really gross egg salad. Where can students go get food on campus if they don't want to eat at the dining commons? If you ever get sick of the dining commons, you can go to the coho, the silo, and they even have a lot of food trucks. Did you get freshman 15? No, I did not. And I think it's because I had to bike everywhere, so it canceled out. <laughs> what is the freshman stripe and have you gotten it? The freshman stripe is like this strip of mud that is on the back of freshmen's backs. Um, and it happens when you don't have fenders on your bike and I have not experienced it. Is there Greek life in Davis? There is Greek life. So there are organizations under IFC and Panhellenic, and there are also ones that are culturally and professionally based. Are you a part of Greek life? I am. I recently joined Chi Omega in the fall. For those who aren't part of a sorority or fraternity, is it easy to make friends? I would say definitely. There are just so many ways you can get involved on campus and so many clubs. How many clubs are there at UC Davis? Believe it or not, 800. So there's something for everyone. <laughs> wow. Are there any campus myths? If you touch the egghead in front of Shields Library, you're going to get good luck for finals. Do you think that's actually true? I've never done it, but I, I would say, yeah, sure. <laughs> what about Davis traditions? There are something called 50 Aggie traditions, and it's this thing. There's even an app for it. You can donate to the pantry or uh, go to the meat lab. And basically, if you complete it by the time you graduate, you get this medal at graduation. What are the three dorms at Davis? There's Tercero, Segundo, and Corto, and Corto is off campus. What sets them apart from each other? Besides the location, um, they have their own dining halls. I would say the setup of the room, they look very distinct from each other. Name the best and worst part about dorm life. I would say the best part would probably be, at least from my experience, is getting super close to your roommates and having people you could just experience college with for the first time. And the worst part would be 
adjusting to each other's schedules because you're living in such close proximity to people. Where do people like to study on campus? Um, there's a lot of places because this campus is huge. So I would say the MU, Shields Library, the Coho, and the Quad. What is the typical class size? For STEM classes especially, they could be really big from like 300 to 400 students, but it really depends on the class. And discussion sessions are always smaller, like 30, 30 students. Is your school academically competitive? Yes, I would say there's a lot of drive at Davis, but it's not cutthroat or like every man for himself. Awesome. Any favorite professors? I have so many favorite professors. I would say Professor Shane Logan for sociology, Professor Janine Wilson for economics, and James Hasfield for design. Favorite classes you've taken so far? Uh, Self and Society, Social 2, and Design 16, Graphic Design. And I also took this really interesting class called Apiculture. It was all about bees and honey making. It was so interesting. Best and worst lecture hall on campus? I would say my favorites would have to be California Hall or the Social Sciences and Humanities Building because they're huge and they fit a lot of students and they're just really modern. Um, and the worst would have to be probably Wellman classrooms because they're older and smaller. Great. What's an essential item for Davis students? If you're going to be biking on campus, you definitely need bike locks, multiple, because people be stealing bike parts out there. What is the Davis student fashion like? I would say NorCal in general is casual, comfortable. I know I'm always wearing a sweater to class. Great. Is there a school spirit at Davis? Yes, uh, there's definitely school spirit. Everyone is proud to be an Aggie here, especially at games and meets, and people are always repping merch. Okay, I'm sure people are dying to know this, but is it true that people smell like cows at UC Davis? I don't think I've ever met a person that smells like a cow, but there are definitely places on campus that smell like cow. Hey, what's the weather like in Davis? So it's either super sunny or super rainy and there's no in between. One thing you would change about your school? I would want Aggie cash to be used at campus stores. They're only allowed to be used at food places. Number one tip for success at Davis? Success to me is getting a full and rewarding experience. So going beyond your academics and just experiencing college and networking with your professors and trying new clubs. How do you like the area around Davis? I fell in love with it. It's so charming. Originally, I wanted to go to a big city college, but after coming to Davis, I'm really glad I'm here. Is your school diverse? I know I said there's a lot of Asians, but it is diverse in all aspects, religiously, culturally. It's a melting pot of people, and that's one thing I love about Davis. All right, real question. Is Davis the best UC? Nah, from, coming from SoCal, I, had, I would have to say UCLA. I'm kidding, of course it's the best. <laughs> okay. Do you think your tuition compensates for your experience? Uh, for my experience personally, I would say yes, because I love my major, especially with financial aid and scholarships, it's definitely worth it. Speaking of majors, most unique major on campus? There is this major called Viticulture and Enology, and it's the study of winemaking and grapes, and that is just the coolest thing ever. How about the most popular major? You would think it would be animal biology or animal sciences, because that's what we're known for, but it's actually psychology. What's a GE that everyone should take? I think everyone should take ECH001, Design of Coffee. You basically make coffee all day. It's so much fun. <laughs> what are some events unique to UC Davis? UC Davis has Picnic Day. It's the largest student-run event in the nation. It has a bunch of exhibitions. It, there's a parade, and it's just a lot of fun. What do most students do during the weekend? During the weekend, people go to downtown Davis and just study at the cute little coffee shops. What students' hotspots outside of Davis? One of mine is the Farmer's Market, which is open on Wednesdays and Saturdays, by the way. Super fun place to go. What is your favorite memory at Davis? Hmm. I would have to say Fall Welcome Week or Move-In Day um, when I was a freshman. I just felt so proud to be an Aggie and just finally at my school. It was, it was amazing. Awesome. Three words to describe Davis life. Artsy, friendly, and peaceful. What's a secret spot in Davis you can share? There is a piano at the Arboretum that you could play. It's beautiful. 
Are there any museums on campus? Yes, there are a couple. So there's the Manetti Shram Art Museum, and there's also the Bohart Museum of Entomology. Does Davis have any facilities outside of the campus? Yes, UC Davis Health has the hospital in SEP. Should everyone watching this video apply to UC Davis? 100% yes. I actually applied to Davis last minute and it's the best decision I've ever made. How has Davis handled the COVID pandemic? Davis has been handling it really well. I mean, all our classes are online right now, but also we have public health ambassadors and we have weekly COVID testing. And also we have the daily symptom survey that is required when you use campus facilities. What's something you didn't expect from your Davis experience? I didn't expect that I would eventually memorize the entire campus. Um, it's huge, but eventually it becomes like home. The Arboretum is one of the highlights of Davis. What's so cool about it? The Arb is just this three and a half mile long stretch of land that is beautiful, has a garden, has a river, and it's just so stunning and peaceful. What are some mental health resources available to students? One thing I love about our school is that they put a lot of time and effort into providing students with mental health resources, uh, such as Each Aggie Matters. You can go on their website and find a bunch of resources and the Mental Health Initiative and so many other clubs. What about professional or academic resources? There's the Intern and Career Center, Internship and Career Center, that um, you can book advising appointments or get pamphlets and even attend seminars. UC Davis campus is ranked number one in the nation for sustainability. Do you think it lives up to that title? I would say yes. There are so many ways that they encourage students to lower their waste and the buildings are eco-friendly and it's, it, it definitely is. <laughs> I hear that people often see turkeys on campus. Are there any other animals people can expect to see when they step onto campus? There are, are so many squirrels, peacocks, um, cows, of course, llamas, and there are even these cats named Cheeto and Coco. Follow their Instagrams. <laughs> I've also heard about the campus nap map. What is that? And do you have any idea on what that is? Yeah, so uh, some students actually collaborated with Google Maps to create and pinpoint the best nap spots on campus based on like noise level and safety, and it's super awesome. Wow. How big is UC Davis's campus? 5,300 acres. It's ginormous. That's huge. Any tips for new bikers? Yes, I would say communicate with the people around you and use your hand signals. If you don't know what those are, you can go on the UC Davis website and they have tutorials and videos on teaching you how to do it. And it's just really safe to communicate with people around you. Are there any other ways students can get around campus? Yeah, so you could use the Unitrans, which are free for all students. And you could walk, it might take you a while. You can roller skate and skateboard. How many hours of homework do you do a day? I would say around three to five. Awesome. Best advice you have received from a fellow student? I would say if you get the chance, study abroad. I was actually planning on doing a design program in Europe and Unfortunately, due to COVID, I couldn't, but I'm definitely planning to. Great. Well, I guess that's all the questions we have for you. Any last words for those of you who are watching right now? I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy, and I hope to see you guys soon. Take care.